Well, it may or may not be what you think. This one's a little bit bigger, to say the least. Uh, another Ronin. A little bit bigger. A little bit. A little bit. 100 kW. 6 cylinder Alice Chalmers diesel, turbocharged. Yeah. Just pulled this out of a uh, uh, municipal building in Burlington, New Jersey. Replaced it with a uh, new Kohler set. Pretty big. I don't know if these numbers mean anything to anybody. They don't really mean anything to me yet. I haven't really researched it. Model 670T. Let's see if I can hold the camera steady enough. I can read it. Serial number 70-03116. Oh. Equipment GOV for governor, fan, fan blade, alternator, and regulator. I assume that is I'm not sure what this is. That hmm. it's a 24 volt start. Had two massive 12 volt batteries in series. Um, I was not on the crew that removed this, but uh, they were gonna scrap it, so I stopped it from doing that at least. Here's the other tag. <laughs> Here's a model number and the serial number. like it's a DYC series hmm interesting hmm Eighteen hundred hours on it. <laughs> there you go. Now, Holly, New Jersey. Definitely, uh, definitely a big one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Now, the story is, this thing is seized, quote unquote. Don't know what that means, exactly. Um, it's oil levels at the add position, so that can't be good. But it looks clean, it smells all right. Well, you know, clean for a big diesel. So I, I, you know, I can't turn this over by hand, even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't seized, I probably couldn't turn it over without a big bar or something on the uh, pulley there. But uh, looking at it, I don't know. It's looks like it's had a. Uh, Remanufactured injection pump put on. See how the lines are painted green. This thing's gray. I haven't even looked at this. I'm not even sure who makes that pump. 
I think I can see underneath the paint it says Stanodyne. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, pump, lines, injectors are all the same kind of gray color or unpainted. But they look they don't look original. So yeah. It's like six fifties or seven hundred aluminum. Hmm. Got the uh, coolant heater there. I think that's what that is. I think that's a coolant heater. Kind of time relay. Probably for the coolant heater. Kick it on and off. Hmm. I unless had a oil filter change in 09 at 1818 hours. What does it have now? 1836. So it's only put you know, a, dozen or a couple dozen hours on since 09. Hmm. It's pretty neat. It's got a frequency meter. Yeah. I don't know. It's certainly a big project. I don't know what I would do with it if I even got it running. You know, I certainly can't sit outside very long. Hmm. I do see liquid down there. Yeah, the guy who brought it back, or the, I should say, shouldn't say, I brought it back with the the uh, project manager who uh, oversaw this uh, project, this replacement of the generator, uh, told me it was seized. You know, I asked him, is it seized from sitting or seized from running? He didn't know. Um, I haven't gone into it at all. It only came back this past Thursday. So, uh, I really don't know. But I suppose the first thing I'll do, you know, take the valve cover off. See what the rockers look like, you know? See if there's any signs in the upper end that it was seized. I don't know. Strange. Even if the oil was at the ad level, you know, it shouldn't have seized. Let's see what kind of alarm does it have. Got an over crank alarm, over speed, low oil pressure, high temperature, and low temperature alarm. Now I wonder if it has a emergency shutdown. I mean, it's got a low pressure warning light. I wonder if it automatically shuts down when the oil pressure gets too low. I don't know. This is loose. It's on a little rubber for my feet. I don't think it's going to run right now. Interesting. Interesting where the uh, needles are for, let's say, oil pressure, for example, engine oil pressure. You know, didn't go back down to zero when the engine was shut off, along with the uh, water temperature. Oil pressure would be, would be good, you know? So it's just strange. Maybe that's like a default. I'm not sure if it's a an actual pressure gauge or if it's like uh, you know electrically controlled. Same thing with the water temperature. Strange that it wouldn't go back down to uh, or back all the way down to 100, unless it's I don't know electrically held there. Be weird. Huh. Yeah, there's, uh, what do you call them things? Big amp meter, uh, amp coils, whatever you call them, I forget what they're called, uh, CTs, current transducers, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a project. Like, I don't already have enough.